Hello and welcome to the first of uh, a couple of videos just to show you how to draw this nail varnish bottle that you can see on the screen. I'm going to start off by drawing the footprint. So we're just going to use the rectangle tool and I'm going to drag the shape out, press my spacebar to freeze it and type in the value 30. Tap across the next one and type in 30 there and enter. Now using the pull command I'm going to pull this shape up. Again I'm going to hit the spacebar which freezes it. I'm going to enter a height of 40. Now I need to do the neck of the bottle, so I'm going to choose Select, choose the top surface of the bottle, and put a new sketch onto it. Now with the Circle command, centrally located on the top, I'm going to drag out a circle with a diameter of 12 millimeters. Now I'm going to pull that up. You can hit space to freeze it and type in a height of 12 and enter. So we've got our basic bottle here. The cap will draw later on. The next thing I need to add is the thread that goes around the neck here. So to start with, use the select command and I'm going to select the center axes of that neck there that you can see. So when it goes green, I'm going to click on it and now I can choose sketch mode and I'm going to go to plan view. Right, let's just zoom in. So I'm going to use the circle command to create my profile and I'm going to create a two millimeter circle that overlaps the edge here. Now using pull, I'm going to select the inside of that circle Click on the Add, because I want to add material, and I'm going to choose Revolve. Now at the top here it says select an axis to rotate about. Well the axis is that center line here, so I'm going to click on that. And now over in the sidebar, if I drag the slider down to Revolve Options, I can choose Helix. The height that we need to enter is 10, and if I just click in the pitch box you'll see that it adds it to it. I'm happy with that. So I can just close that down, click back on home view and you can see we've got the start of our bottle. 